G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, do you remember this little steam engine from November last year? It's got to be my all-time favourite steam engine. It's an absolute little ripper. And it was a kit that I built up from parts that were sent to me by the, uh, the engine DIY shop. And this is called an Enjomore steam engine. It's one of their kits, Enjomore brand. And it absolutely just runs a treat. It was a great little project to build up. And I think it's been pretty popular. I think I've sold quite a few of these. Anyway, that was eight, eight months ago, I suppose. And since then, I haven't really done much in the way of model engines. And anyway, just recently, the, uh, the engine DIY shop got on with me again and said, Hey, Rob, are you interested in doing another one of these? We've got a, a new version, a bigger version. And not only is it a steam engine with a separate boiler, it also has a uh, governor as well. So you can get you know, a little flywheel whizzing around. And it's a beam type steam engine. And yeah, it looked in the photos, it looked fantastic. So I said, yep, I'd be really interested in, in reviewing that. So if you want to send it to me, I'll check it out. And they have. So today we're going to have a look at the latest offering from them. It's an 84 piece kit. It's a lot of bits. And it's bigger than this. It's more expensive than this. But it's still a reasonable price and it looks awesome. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so here it is. Engine DIY shop. You can see how big it is compared to my hand. So next thing, we'll open the box and see what's inside. Right. Uh, these are the instructions on how to put it together. Very similar to the last one I did. This is made by a different company though to the last one, but it's a uh, similar procedure. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that looks nice. That looks good. Wow. Actually, it's not hugely bigger than the other one, I don't think. There's the little governor. Yeah, bevel gears. Wow. Looks nice. There's the beam. The piston. Firewheel. Ooh, here's the boiler. Nice. Brass. Looks like that's the base and the heater. Mmm. Oh, here's the burner in there. Wow. Yeah, I'll lay it all out and we'll have a good look at it. So, here you can see, this is made by Retrol. That's the base, which is, yeah, probably twice as big as the base for the one I did previously. And we have some tools here to put it together. Some parts for it which uh, look like the, the risers and supports vertical supports magnificent boiler pulleys rods some more metal parts which well we'll have to see how they fit in uh, looks like something to do with the burner there it's got two 
positions and the burner's got two little wicks on it so it's a metho burner I wonder whether it might have taken those little round these sort of uh, birdie pill things you know that you have to buy but this looks like it's got metho metho wicks so that's a good thing and that seems to line up with that so that's got something to do with that and here we have the bits I looked at earlier flywheel beautifully made piston barrel yeah all sorts of bits and pieces so 84 pieces in total I think I got that right so now the next thing is to have a look at the plans and start building it up <laughs> oh it should be good right so these are the plans going to be working from or the instructions and as I said this model is made by Retro whereas the previous one was made by Engimore but they have this, exactly the same type of um, guides to build them. They're in Chinese and they're also in English where it's important. So all your sizes are in English. And you just go through, follow the numbers, one, two, three, four, work your way through, build it up in the steps that they show you. And at the end of it, you'll get something it looks like this. Okay, so now it's the time to start at one and move on. And then to the next sheet.
all this is it's all built up it looks fantastic and yeah it all went without a hitch it was dead easy to do uh, at the end of it you've got a little plastic box left over you've got some spare seals for the boiler because the boiler it can be disassembled so if any of these fittings are not secure if they're a bit loose you can take the ends off and get in with the spanner this particular spanner and that can tighten up these bits and pieces so yeah she's uh, she's all ready to go so I'll oil everything put in some water and we'll see what happens one thing you also get that I've got to mention is this little uh, collect tray here that it um, catches any condensate that comes out there's like a drain down the back here so this just sits under here and that will stop moisture going over your desktop or whatever and uh, this little valve here controls the, the drain and the governor is also adjustable it's got some little screws top and bottom that adjust the spring pressure and that's it, about it the only thing that I wish it did have is something to fill up the board up with like this this is from my one of my other engines and also a little oil bottle would be handy too like this which also came from one of my other kit engines so apart from that it's minor stuff but it would be good to have those in the kit it would just finish it off nicely Well, there you go. She certainly runs okay, but it's a bit bit touchy. You just got to get everything right, and uh, when it does run, it runs quite nicely. So that's about the best position there. That's about the speed that you're going to get out of it, I think. It's a fairly slow revving. But it's a cute little thing, I've got to say. So, what do I think of it? I think it's pretty good. It's very nice, actually. And beautifully made. It's got a bit of everything. Got a little governor there that whizzes around and belt drive and... Yeah, it all went together easily. 
follow the plan and you can't go wrong. And then at the end of it, well, you get this. The only issue I had was getting it to run uh, initially. You have to make sure everything is loose, you know, no, no tight spots. I had a little bit of binding in the piston, so I took that out, just worked it up and down with a bit of lube. Oiled everything up, and then I ran it on compressed air for a quarter of an hour, just to make sure everything, just at low speed, just leave it running for a quarter of an hour, and that will loosen up everything, wear everything in, and that way you got minimum friction. Did that. Put some metho in the burner and fire up, and away she went. So, yeah, that's the only thing with it. You have to be sure you get rid of the friction. It hasn't got a lot of power, so... Um, that's to do mainly with the boiler size, I think. If it had a bigger boiler with more burners, it could be quite a powerful machine. But that burnt boiler is big enough but to make it run, but not produce a lot of power, you know. But overall, yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. I think it's a beautiful machine. And, yeah, many thanks to the uh, engine DIY shop for sending it to me to have a look at and play around with very nice. Okay, if you want one of these, well, the link to the product is in the video description. There's also a code there. Discount code, you get 15% off. So, use that and uh, on top of whatever the price is in in your part of the world, uh, could turn out a reasonable buy and a uh, nice bit of gear to have. Certainly looks the business. Okay, well that's it from me, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time, cheers.